hello there my darlings and welcome to a brand new fashion video if you have clicked on this video then hallelujah it means i'm not alone it means you are as bad as me for thinking about autumn in august i don't think i have ever spoken about autumn quite this early here on my channel but autumn trends are starting to filter down into the high street and i'm ready for them mentally I am ready for them. The temperatures outside are not ready, but I am ready. Something about the fact that we have already returned from our summer holiday. We've had some heat waves, they have been amazing. I'm not done with summer. I am definitely not done with summer, but my wardrobe is ready to embrace a few of those autumn trends. If you want to know a little bit more about the autumn trends, I had a little chat about them in my last vlog, which went up on Thursday. So have a little watch of that if you would like to hear my thoughts on the biggest trends for autumn and how I plan on integrating them into my wardrobe but today darlings I couldn't resist a few of my favorite high street stores have already got some of their autumn bits in and I wanted to share my favorites with you so as per usual with my fashion videos everything that I wear everything that I feature will be linked in the description box down below and if you are new here please do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos from me here on my channel. Okay, so let's get started with the dress that I'm wearing right now. To me, this this just does not look like a high street piece. This very much looks like a, of course I'm gonna say it, a Zimmerman or an Isabel Moran or maybe even a Chloe dress. I have accessorized with my Loewe belt because I felt that it needed a little bit of cinching in, but I'm definitely getting Zimmerman vibes from the oversized lace. You've got a slight puff to the sleeves. Lengthwise, it's still fairly short, so great for that transitional period between summer and autumn when maybe you want to get a slightly more autumnal color into your outfits, but you're not quite ready to give up summer silhouettes. This is absolutely perfect for that. Lengthwise as well, it's the length that I absolutely love. I don't like dresses that are too short, whereas this one still shows plenty of leg, but without being too revealing. So the shoes that I'm wearing with this dress are also new in. I actually saw all these styled on the website with a pair of trousers and I'm going to style them with a pair of trousers later on. I feel like I have fallen out of love with footwear as a whole lately and I do struggle particularly during the transitional period between summer and autumn. When do we start to wear closed toed shoes? Sometimes I'm just not ready for closed toed shoes but a lot of my open toed shoes are a little bit too summery. Well these for me I feel are the perfect kind of transition between summer and autumn. So they are this really lovely squishy, I'm guessing it's faux leather, although it has got the leather symbol underneath so maybe it is real leather, but really really spongy which makes them so comfortable. The heel is a really good height, gives me a perfect amount of height but without being unwearable. I probably wouldn't wear these for like a full day of shopping but if I was going to meet friends for lunch or if I was just going to be on my feet for like half an hour or so at a time then I think I'd be very comfortable in these. They're quite cool and stylish in the fact that they've got the loop around one of the toes um, and I have a feeling that this is the kind of footwear that is going to see me through a lot of the outfits in this video and also in my summer to autumn wardrobe in general. Okay, we move on to outfit number two, and I'm gonna be the first to hold my hands up and say, this is very much out of my comfort zone. I am a floaty dress kind of gal. I very rarely wear trousers, and when I do, I like them to be stretchy, I like them to be cozy, and this is everything that is not true to my personal style, but I saw these faux leather trousers on the website, and oh my goodness, I thought they looked so cool and I love the color of them. I'm very drawn to dark chocolatey hues. I think that is a shade that's gonna be a real neutral in my wardrobe this autumn winter. So I thought, let's give it a try. They're from the high street, they're not gonna break the bank. So let's see how they work with my wardrobe. And I have to say, yes, I need to take these up by an inch, if not more, because I think they'd be more flattering if they were around the ankles, but I think it'd be a very easy job. The hems literally just need folding up and then restitching. I think 
these could be a real favorite. So fit wise, I went for a size eight, which is my usual. I did wonder if they might be a little bit tight around the waist and I really don't like anything that's tight around the waist, but luckily they're not. It wasn't a real mission to pull them up, which is great because some of the leather trousers in my collection well, I haven't tried them on in a couple of years and I'm not optimistic. I don't think they're gonna fit me this year, whereas these are really comfortable to get on. They fit nicely around the bum. There's not too much wrinkling going on. And then they are straight cut, which is exactly the kind of cut that I would want from a pair of faux leather trousers. Anything too fitted, I think makes you look a little bit like a Michelin man and anything that's too flared is maybe a little bit OTT. So the fit, the silhouette of these, I love. I have paired at the moment with this really classic v-neck um, t-shirt. It's about time that I got some new t-shirts in my collection and this one is just a really lovely, very wearable oatmeal kind of colour. It's quite a thick cotton and it's got a little bit of a marl pattern to it, so a really wearable t-shirt. I like to call things like this building blocks for your wardrobe because they are the kind of things that you wear so, so much. And I have again paired it with the brown, leathery, spongy shoes. And once the trousers are taken up by a couple of inches, I think this is gonna be a really cool transitional outfit. So a quick update on the trousers. I have just folded them up by four inches, which is quite a lot. And now they're more ankle length trousers and I love them even more. I think they are so much more flattering when they are up a few inches. I have also changed my footwear and it is very much now ankle revealing. You guys, these foot, this footwear option is going to be hugely Marmite. Absolutely love it or hate it. It's so bold that I would only ever go for a high street piece like this. It is a pair of Borg sandals. Yes, fluffy, cozy. They call the material Borg sandals. So these have got a fairly chunky heel, chunky but slim. So from the side, it looks like a slim heel, but you do get the stability from a chunky heel because it's got that wide platform. Let me tell you, these are actually really, really comfortable. They're crazy, they're fun, but I think as we go into autumn, winter, I think this year, as I mentioned in Thursday's video, coziness is a big trend, and why not extend that down to your footwear? I'm not sure that I'll be doing Borg bags this year. I'm sure I'll be doing Borg coats. In fact, I have something very lovely to show you later on in the video but this just adds a real element of fun to the outfit. I think they're around the 40 pound mark, so it's not breaking the bank. It wouldn't surprise me if someone like Bottega bought out a pair of ball shoes like this and all the fashion girls will go mad for them. Well, the high street got there first and yeah, they may be Marmite, but I am a fan. So a transitional wardrobe always needs a good few cardigans and cardigans typically are quite feminine, quite cozy, almost like cottagecore style. Well, not this one. This one is quite sporty. It's got a chevron pattern to it. Yes, it's from the high street, but I feel like in its simplicity, it could be a more expensive cardigan. It could be premium high street. You could definitely say that this is Reese and it certainly looks like it could be. It's really quite simple. It's just got one pocket here, a chunky zip in the middle, and it's just a sporty cardigan. It looks really great with this outfit. Even last night when Charlie and I went for a late night dash to get some Percy Pigs, I grabbed my um, Uniqlo puffer jacket. It was far too warm for something like that, but I still needed something to just pop over my shoulders. This is the perfect cardigan for things like this. I don't know if you'd call it a cardigan, really. It's more like a, is it a shacket? Is this what a shacket is? I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, something that I think I'll get a lot of wear from during the summer going into autumn months. Well, my darlings, if you thought that Borg shoes was crazy in August, yes, we have full on lost the plot because this is a Borg gilet. And I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love it. I fully went down the cozy jacket route last year and my cozy jackets were the ones that I reached for the most. The one quibble that I had with them is that it, they are quite restrictive. As a full on Borg jacket, if you're driving or if you've got your arms full of bags or even if you're out eating, I found them quite restrictive. So for me, a Borg sleeveless jacket or gilet such as this one I feel is the best of both. You get all the cozy vibes. I don't know about you but I never feel like my arms are cold. Like my arms don't ever really feel cold. In the, in the really cold months I am queen of the thermals. I love to layer underneath a high neck long sleeve jumper like this. You could most definitely wear a full length thermal. 
Oh my gosh, am I actually talking about thermals when it's 22 degrees outside? Yes, I am, because we have to plan ahead because things like this will sell out. I can see it now. I can literally see it right now. I will probably post a photo next to a beautiful Cotswold stone wall in a field somewhere on the 1st of October wearing this and everyone's going to want to know where it's from and it will be gone. It will be long gone, sold out. That is why we have to pick up little gems like this in August. Retailers, why do you do this to us? We're not ready. <laughs> but we are ready. <laughs> Who knows? Moral of the story is don't be afraid to pick up things like this now because little gems like this won't be around when we actually want to wear them. The high street, the retail circle of life is messed up. Again, for the price, I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. I can imagine throwing it on for running errands, going to Soho Farmhouse, lunches, dinners. Let's hope we don't have any more lockdowns, but if we do, having to hang around outside, this is going to keep you warm. But as I said earlier, you've still got your hands free. Lengthwise, it's fairly short, so it's a little bit more wearable. Color wise, it's neutral, so it's going to go with all the knitwear in my wardrobe. It still has an opening here, so if you've got some nice necklaces, they can be on display. Oh, it feels so cozy, it really, really does, and I'm loving how it looks with this sage green jumper as well. And we are back to my comfort zone in a lovely dress. Now this really is the perfect transitional piece because it is very much a summer silhouette but with autumnal colour tones. Gosh, I have missed these words, transitional, autumnal, they are all words you can play bingo with. <laughs> throughout the next few months because I will be using them a lot. So this is another one with a really lovely short skirt, a little bit shorter than the first one, and the fabric is actually really lightweight. So if you do live somewhere where the temperatures stay warm well into the autumn like LA or Spain or south of France, and yet you still want to wear something that is a little bit more seasonally appropriate when we do go into autumn, things like this are absolutely perfect. But for those of us that live in cooler climates where the temperatures will drop very soon, I'll be wearing this. You can wear thermal underneath this, you can wear tights, boots. That is definitely how I'll be styling it in the autumn. But for now, those first shoes that I showed you, the dark brown leather ones, look really perfect with bare legs. A great way to give a little bit of a nod to the upcoming season, but without making yourself absolutely roasting, no borg in sight. Instead, you've got this really lovely, almost like a deep red wine shade as the main color. And then you've got a kind of like a raspberry, peachy, big, I think it's a lily floral pattern. And you've got some gold metallic threads running through. Really beautiful silhouette, really lovely lightweight material. Definitely the kind of thing that I love to add to my wardrobe as we move into autumn. Well, my darlings, we are back to Borg. I couldn't resist pushing the boat out just a tiny bit further. And I promise you this is as autumnal as it gets. But we have got a full length Borg or Teddy, what do you call them? Sleeveless coat. And I love this outfit. I love how it looks. I feel like as soon as the leaves start to go brown, I'm going to be wearing this outfit for lunches, for dinners, for meetings at Soho Farmhouse. I'm going to be wearing this outfit a lot. You wait. I'm so, so happy with the sleeveless jacket. All the same benefits that I mentioned earlier in that you are hands-free, arms-free, much easier for driving, much easier for working if you're outside working. If you are eating, your arms have a lot more flexibility than you do in a full-on fluffy jacket, and yet you still get that cozy factor. If it's really cold, if you're out for a walk you can just really like bundle yourself up get really warm and toasty and yet something about it being long and full length makes me feel like it's more of an outfit there's something quite elegant about full length sleeveless jackets I've got my one from last year from um I think it's Sandro in a light color I'm always a little bit scared to wear it on walks because it's light but this I'll be very very comfortable to wear on walks as well I bet you can literally just stick this in the washing machine. Okay, it says dry clean only, but I never pay attention to those. If something says dry clean only, don't quote me on this, but I always just stick stuff in my washing machine on the delicate setting, and I've never ruined anything of mine. I've ruined a few of Charlie's t-shirts, but let's not go there. 
yeah absolutely love this i feel like it is the perfect autumnal outfit love it with the leather trousers would probably wear it with um maybe some black or dark brown leggings and walking boots as well you can predict that this is something that again you're going to see me wearing so much of on instagram and in my vlogs as soon as autumn is officially here so in the cooler months as i try to transition myself slowly away from summer dresses I find it very hard to find trousers that are comfortable, not too tight around my waist and also not, I don't know, just kind of boxy and quite harsh looking. I still like to have that more relaxed silhouette and I'm always on the lookout. I've got a couple of pairs of trousers similar to this pair but they all have drawstrings around the waist which to me just makes them look so, so casual. So this pair, I'm very pleased to report, look smart. They have got a tapered, tailored style front. They've got a button and not a drawstring, but they have got that all important elasticated waistband, which is hidden at the back. Yes, hallelujah. I think this is the perfect pair of comfortable and yet smart looking trousers. And let me tell you, I have been on the hunt. I have been on the hunt. So I'm so, so glad to have found this pair. They do have the all important pockets. They're beautifully high waisted and the fit of them is absolutely perfect. Lengthwise, again, I'm probably gonna have to take an inch off. For reference, I think I'm around, this is a total guess, but I think I'm around five foot three. I'm not very tall. I'm wearing heels here. I'd love to be the kind of girl with the long legs that can wear trainers with this type of trouser, but I'm never gonna be able to do that. So for me, it's heels. If you have any other styling recommendations, fellow petite girls, please let me know. But for now, this is how I will be styling trousers like this. Of course, I've gone for a neutral color. If I've got any long road trips, long train journeys, even any airplane journeys in the near future, I will be wearing these with either a cozy knit like this, tank top underneath, for that effortless but still smart cool girl style. Well, I bet you didn't see this one coming. The next item in my haul is a set of pajamas and I actually have three bits that all kind of match together. Obviously you can't wear them all at one time because this first little item is a play suit. Now I love satiny pajamas. You get all the look and the softness and the luxurious feeling of silk, but you don't have to iron it. Hallelujah, because I cannot be bothered to iron my silk pajamas. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, they make me feel like a princess, but I cannot be bothered to iron silk pajamas. These are absolutely adorable. I love the color pattern. It's a white background and you've got this kind of pink, almost toile de jouie. It's actually looking at it like giraffes, trees, a little bit of Serengeti kind of print going on. It's so lovely. And then you have got this really beautiful um, pink lace trim on the edges and on the bottom of the shorts and on the bottom of the trousers as well. Really interesting back detail. You can still see a little bit of my tan lines. You've got this crisscross back detail. The length of these, the length of this play suit is really, really sweet. I love that lace detail down at the bottom. And I also have the two piece set that is in the same print as well. This set has just officially shot up to become my number one favorite set of pajamas. They look, this set looks so elegant. It looks as though I'm wearing a pair of Olivia Von Hull pajamas. And I think at the moment they are charging around 300 pounds for Olivia Von Hull pajamas. They look like silk. This pattern looks expensive. It looks like a hand drawn watercolor painting or maybe just hand drawn maybe not so much watercolor but i love it the colors the white and the pink are so feminine i feel great in these pajamas i love the fact that you've still got that really interesting back detail and yet the trousers are long i don't like to be cold in bed i like to feel snuggly i like to be a little bit more airy up here especially if i've been fake tanning don't worry these pajamas will wash absolutely fine um but you still have the coziness of long pajama legs and again you've got that beautiful pink lace at the bottom i love these i love them so much river island if you're watching please 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 bring out a robe in this pattern as well imagine a long silky robe like this with the pink lace trim that would be so beautiful i think these I think this set is possibly my favorite item in this haul so far. Smitten with my new PJs. I know you wouldn't necessarily wear these together. You probably shouldn't, but I just don't want to take these pajamas off. And also the next thing that I have to share with you is this cardigan. 
a little bit random and out there for me. I don't have anything else dog tooth in my wardrobe but I saw this one and I thought that is going to be so perfect for just popping over my shoulders when I'm wearing a nice perhaps plain white bandeau summer dress and I just want something over my shoulders because it is really really cozy it's almost again like a jacket in that it's got a lining feels a little bit Balmain-esque with it being houndstooth and having this statement button on there but yeah, this was a bit of a wild card item, but I thought I would pop it in my basket and I actually think it's the kind of thing that I will get a lot of wear out of. If I ever have a pyjama day, then it does go really nicely with the PJs. But yeah, let me know. Would you guys, how would you style something like this? Something about it that I just really, really love. Well, I'm not gonna lie, darlings, when I saw this on the hanger, I wasn't sure if it was a top or a dress, but upon putting it on, it has become very clear that it is in fact a dress, pretty much as short as I'm willing to go. It is, it's a shorty, that's for sure, but I absolutely love it. Once again, summery silhouette, but this kind of, what would you call it, like taupey, greyish kind of colour gives me those leaning into autumn vibes. I love the silhouette. I love anything with smocking because it's so comfortable. I love a puff sleeve. I love it when the high street does a puff sleeve because you can go a little bit more wild, you can try out things that you maybe wouldn't necessarily want to spend a huge amount of money on and see if that trend is for you. I love this ruffle detail around the neckline and I have to say, it looks like more of a bespoke kind of boutique brand than a high street brand, which I really, really like. And last but not least, my darlings, we have the most gorgeous autumnal floral blouse. Now this one, feels like it was a kind of old school Victorian print and then someone printed it on some jazzy, almost metallic fabric. So it adds a little bit more of a jazzy, that is the word I'm gonna use to describe it, jazzy vibe to the blouse. Now I wanted to make it a little bit more summery, so today I have paired it with a midi skirt, another of Autumn's trends. Check out the video if you haven't seen it yet. I did chat about the trends within a vlog, so you might wanna enjoy the vlog bit as well as listening in to the trends. But yeah, things like this with a midi skirt is a great way of getting those autumnal patterns and trends into your wardrobe with pieces that already suit your personal style really, really well. I have to say this is a tiny bit itchy, something to be wary of, but I often find that after things like this are washed they do soften a little bit so I'm not too concerned about it and I love the overall look. So darlings this is the final piece, let me know what you loved, anything that you're like whoa I'm not ready to even think about it yet and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and let me know are you already thinking about autumn fuel wardrobe or am I crazy? If you got to the end then I think it probably means that you are. So darlings, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Links to everything in the description box down below. Subscribe if you're new and if you'd like more fashion content here from me. I do a fashion video every Sunday and vlogs every Tuesday and Thursday. Darlings, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.